Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and there were a few extra secrets in Deltarune that I just wanted to go over quick because I learned about them recently, and so I altered my file to see if they had any effect on Chapter 2. So this first part isn't really secret per se, just some interactions that I forgot to do the first time around. Hmm, Mr. Elegance has run off on some hellish errand. Huh? No, I didn't help out at all! Why are or aren't you asking? <laughs> hey kid, we managed to get this door to go to the castle. Hope it helps you out. It did, as a matter of fact. Where'd this door come from? Oh, that's a repeat. This door will go even further than before. Not sure in what we did to make it work like that, but... Hmm, interesting. Well, well, you have nothing to fix. But if you find anything broken, return here. After all, I can fix anything. Except for a broken heart. Ah, oh, buddy. Some things are beyond any smith. I also realized I missed a joke with him the first time around. When he told you he fixed the key so that you would never have to use it, that's actually what most martial arts instructors will tell you. We're teaching you how to kick ass, but only so that you walk with confidence and never actually have to kick ass. <laughs> hey, you two didn't mess with my hideout, did ya? I wonder if hideout might be overselling it a bit. Nah, I took a nap in there, so it's basically my house now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's water. Root and Ranger, attack 8, defense 0. Ideally multicolored, but they all wanted to be red. How do you run this place, King? Scented markers. Yes or no? The chocolate one smells too fake anyway. You dig out the marshmallow one and start huffing it. I think we are all somewhat guilty of that, huh? <laughs> Would explain a lot. It's an angel doll. Its lack of facial features is unsettling. That angel? Noel and Des made it in youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. Oh right, you and Azzy tried to make one too. But you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. Had to make the god of hyper death, dude! <laughs> you don't understand! It's a get well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey, Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? <laughs> wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. <laughs> but in the other timeline... Eh. Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Okay, thanks for indulging that bit of goofiness. Now, there are two secrets involving this particular room. So, first, you get to the end, you get it to stop shooting you, and then you run all the way back. Birds are pissing me off. I'm the original Starwalker. No, the original Starwalker. <laughs> it feels like that guy was a scrap to design for the birds you run into. I don't really know. Now the next part is between these two rooms. The one where the birds chase you and the one where you have to circle around the center until it gets dark. Just run back and forth between the two, and magically you get transported to a different room entirely. Here we go. He is behind the tree. Well, there is a man here. He offered you something. Yes? You received an egg. Not too important, not too unimportant. You used the egg. 
It's still here. Huh. Well, there is not a man here. Stop breaking reality. Naturally, I assume this is Gaster. This jail is pissing me off. I'm the original Starwalker. You can also talk to the cages here. Oh, oh, I'm just the cage. No one talks to me. Are you enjoying the show? I'm Golden Sam. Hey, I am regular Sam. It's tough being the fourth cage. Y'all are entirely too cheery for acting as a method of incarceration. Just saying. Show's over! Everybody go home! What's all the fuss about? Your people are in cages! <laughs> That's supposed to be a good thing, friendo. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You put the egg you were carrying inside, too. Huh. Hold on. There are two eggs inside the fridge. Well, on the one hand, it's... Hopefully this is, uh, slightly mercy to our adoptive dad. But I'm kind of hoping that isn't poison the big lug with interspace, uh, gaster... Uh, interdimensional weirdness. Okay, so the last thing I want to comment on is that the mayor of the town might actually be Noelle's mom, because uh, she keeps her office on full blast being a reindeer. There's the naming convention where uh, Noelle Holiday, Des Holiday, which is short for December, I found out, uh, and her name might be Carol, which is my, probably the same person bullying Asgore, and then, of course... Big ass fancy fence, and then Noel doesn't want to bug her because she's working. I don't know. It seems like Noel's mom might be a bit of a hard ass with high expectations, but we'll see. Okay, that was all I had planned to talk about for now. Of course, uh, <laughs> I probably only scratched the tip of the iceberg here because you know these devs, they just have entirely too much fun with things like this. There are probably just secrets all over the place if you dig it and you know how to data mine and things like that. Uh, but yeah, and I'm really looking forward to Chapter 2 because I just recently played through it and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So many gags, so many good moments. And part of why I'm excited is because Will actually reached out and asked to do a Let's Play on this together. So that's my favorite series with a friend. That's bound to be like just an incredible time with all the gags, all the wholesome bits, all the occasional terrifying moments where reality feels like it's falling apart, but you know, it wouldn't be this universe without that. Um, and I would just like to say briefly, I am sorry for the weird indefinite hiatus I've been on, I don't think I need to tell you, 2020 was a hell of a year, in some respects didn't feel like it stopped. Uh, so at present, I can't really say if this is uh, coming back to doing regular updates again or not. But I'm pretty sure I could, like, quit the channel and then the next chapter of Deltarune would come out and I'd be like, well, maybe just one more. One more. Because <laughs> that's just how much I love this series. Okay, so, uh, it should be soonish that the next episode comes out for chapter two, but I can't really give you a time frame because, uh... Currently, Will and I need to sync our schedules, and you know how weird that is. But, you know, look forward to it. And in the meantime, of course, other people are doing it, so you can go have a laugh with them. But, of course, I would strongly recommend that you just pick it up and play it for yourself. Because, of course, uh, Toby wants this to be a personal experience, but also there are just some gags that are just so good in this chapter, and you just deserve to have that moment for yourself. Um, also, uh, if you, if you just update chapter one, chapter two will be right there in the same slot for free. You don't really need to do anything else, which is nice. Uh, amazingly, even the Steam, uh, program updated based on the survey program that I already had on the computer, which is wild. Uh, 
but yeah. These, man, Toby and Temi and all them, they really outdo themselves on this sort of thing. I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, all right, I'll stop rambling now, but look forward to it. Thank you all for tuning in. Peace out.